see a representative from the World Bank, see a government officials and distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for joining us in this important and timely policy dialogue. For those of you visiting Magdisha for the first time, please accept our warm welcome. If you, uh, I hope you will get to enjoy the ambience of the cloudy skies and the uh, cool breeze of the Indian Ocean. It is one of the unique blessings we get to enjoy here free of charge. On a more serious note, despite being placed with remediate source, Somalia has continued to face many challenges, especially since the collapse of the central government in 1991 and in using instability. Recurring natural disasters, food insecurity, armed conflicts, and inadequate financial source have only worsened the situation, resulting in widespread displacement and poverty. However, insecurity, the absence of effective governance, and the impeded self-delivery of essential services have, have, for, have perhaps had the most significant impacts on the fabric of societies in Somalia. With the generous help of our friends and partners, including the World Bank, the successive Somali governments in the past decade have succeeded in achieving significant progress, especially when it comes to establishing and rehabilitating government institutions and enhancing security and service delivery. The focus has been mainly on laying down the groundwork for reconciliation, stabilization, and ensuing reforms. Much has been achieved. We have developed modern legal frameworks, governance structures, public financial management process, restructured key institutions, developed an inclusive path for political reform, and put in place the structure for linking international support to country priorities. The World Bank's dedicated support, especially throughout the HIPIC process, has been a key factor facilitating and driving this change. And for that, we will forever be grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, Somalia today stands at a crucial point in its history. Transitioning from a state that used to be characterized by institutional failure and internal conflict to a more peaceful and stable democracy ready to welcome large-scale investments. Our government came to inter, uh, in office, came into office at the at the time country was reeling from coincidence of triple shocks. Consistent and severe droughts, locust infestations, and the COVID-19 health emergence. As we speak today, many parts of the country are still grappling with the catastrophic consequence of the climate change impacts. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed came into office with the promise to materialize a vision of Somalia at peace with itself and at peace with the rest of the world. We formulated our policy priorities for the next four years, taking full stocks of full stock of this vision, the progress made so far. Our six-pillar government pro uh, 
program prioritizes the key drivers of inclusive growth, liberating territories and the security architecture, justice and an independent judiciary, inclusive politics, economic growth, social sector development, and the Somalia at peace with the world. But as the renewed Nobel Peace Prize laureate Mohammed Yunus once said, peace is threatened by just, by in just economic, social, and political order, absence of democracy and environmental degradations. We must certainly believe that peace cannot be simply achieved through military means. Actually, socioeconomic development is, an, uh, is in fact an important factor in achieving and sustaining peace. Just Benjamin Franklin once said, when men are employed, they are best contented. The World Bank's collection of policy notes on our titles today, titled Unlocking Somalia, Unlocking Somalia's potential to stabilize, grow, and prosper, put forth practical advice for formulating, for stimulating inclusive and economic growth, enhancing economic resilience and diversity, and support employment and job creation. I am certain that today's policy dialogue between our visiting experts and government officials, as well as policymakers, will stimulate our collective line of thought to allow Somalia to live up to its huge potential leverage, its wealth of resources, and reap a demographic dividend. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot emphasize the importance of the generous assistance Somalia has been receiving from the World Bank and other development partners in paving the way for our country and our people to able to stand and to, to, to able to stand on their own feet. To be specific, the different projects implemented by the World Bank have been instrumental in building resilience and nurturing effective governance institutions. However, the sustainability of these achievements hinges on our capacity to lead these efforts, execute them with complete ownership and the existence of a strong institutions capable of delivering our visions. As a government cognizant, fully cognizant of where we have been, we are proud of what we have achieved together so far. And as we inch towards the, towards the completion point of the debt relief process, there will be a significant increase in our need for technical capacities to be able to plan, manage, and execute the investments and loans that will follow in. I firmly believe that strengthening state institutions is the most fundamental step in sustaining growth and development in Somalia. Therefore, I would like to underscore the importance of maintaining this momentum by continuing capacity building efforts and providing strong technical support for key institutions. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the people and the government of Somalia, I would like to once again thank you for your unshakable support. We look forward to our continued partnership in the next few years. Thank you very much. أبكى الذهب شيل سيادة سفود العجو قدرته مركا أدلس ودكتو أبليكيشن كالذهب شيل إيادلعك هدي رايسو استعمال كور كخدمة الآن تأي تري فري وكو سهلية 
in saddex ta jeer ee ugu horreeya ee aad lacag direyso aan wax khidmad ah laga qaaday dahab shiil hawl fudayd iyo haga maaliyadeed 